Hello everyone. Welcome to Educative News where we give you the best and the latest information you can get anywhere. Kindly subscribe because we are going to take you through this particular list of Ghana Ghana government workers. In other words, uh, government workers who have not yet linked their Ghana card to um, payroll. And those people will not get their salary if they don't do so. Controller have taken the pain to provide a list for all government workers who are yet to um, link their Ghana card to the payroll or to SNITs. So what happened is um, this list is given out to every region. And this list like this, this particular one is for voter. We are trying to get the other regions to upload, but I'm going to take you through how to sort the list. How to sort the list so that you can be able to locate your name easily. You can be able to locate your name easily without struggling. This list is over, it has membership of over 5,000. Over 5,000. So let me just take you through the down just for you to see. So we have over 5,000 uh, members or staff who are here to be valid, uh, who are here to link their Ghana card in voter. So what happened is, uh, good, uh, yeah. So this is the bottom of the list. And if you look at the SL template, you are going to see 5,174. So this is the total number of staff who are here to link their Ghana card. Now, how do you link this Ghana card? How do you check your name actually? So what happened is that this list has um, so many columns. The organization you are working for, your date of birth, staff ID, and then the rest. The easiest way to locate your name is by using the staff ID. Because the staff ID, they are numbers. And you can easily arrange them in order of ascending or descending order. For you to just go there, if your number is... 5,000, one and something can go there. If your number is 220, something, something, you can easily go there and locate it. So what happened is, even though the, the lists have been structured into districts, if you see the districts, you may get confused. Because when you get to a district, the names are not arranged in alphabetical order. The schools are not, the institutions are not um, recorded in alphabetical order. So this is just a way forward. What to do is, I don't actually want to scroll to the other side of the list because it includes sensitive information is there. So what we do is that this list on top, we have first NIA number, we have the, um, the staff ID, organization name, and the rest. So I'm just going to use one of these as a sample. So under the organization here, I can just press the letter H. When you find the letter, the letter on top, it is going to select everything under. Or if you are going to select the district, you want to sort by district, you press on top of the district, it will sort for you. Now, what happens is, if you are trying to use the district, you may get within the district, because the list is many, it's difficult to track. So what you do is, you scroll to the left, to your staff ID side. When you get to the staff ID, like this one, you can just press on top, um, like the H. In this case, the staff ID is under the B. So you press the on top of the B, but this one is H. When you press here, then you now try to, you go to the tools. That is the bottom left. The bottom left is to that triangle, the rectangle actually, with those small rectangles inside. That's tools. You press it, it will open you to file. Or if it is view was the last thing that you ever press here, it will take you to view. If it is data you ever pressed here before, it will take you to data. But in my case, it was filed. So now that I press, I press the tools, it brings me here. What I have to do is I have to press data. So after pressing the data, you see that I have subheadings there, filter, ascending order, and a descending order. So now I press the ascending order. Now when I press the ascending order, you realize that it's asking that data detected next to the selected area. Which data do you want to sort? What it means is that every name has other things attached to it. If you have your name, you have organization, you have your district, you have your region, you have your date of birth, street number, and then the rest. 
So what is telling you that if you sort only this one, it will be disjointed against the others. So what you do is you must say as you must press on expand to other areas. So what it means that it's going to cover the other ones. So when you do the sorting, the sorting will include the other ones. So you see the name, your institution, um, region date of birth, staff ID, and then the rest will be attached to it. So when you are pressed on this expand to other areas like this, it will not start sorting. You see that it's rotating until it's finished, it will not stop. And you can also remove uh, this window that is the uh, auto sum recalculate you cannot remove it until it's done so once that is done can you be informed that i'm going to keep this list in the description for uh, uh, column of this video so you can go there and click on the link and visit uh, the list we are going to upload other uh, regions there as well and you can also have the opportunity to join our social media platform to just have the list direct and make sure you subscribe because we are going to be on this and make sure nobody is left behind so now that it's finished sorting i cannot remove this by pressing this arrow sign at the the left edge of the screen so if you press it it's gone so now everything is sorted everything is sorted by name and then the staff id so you cannot take the staff id column and just go straight if you are looking for uh, 2019 it means that you don't have anything to do with the one column you don't have anything to do with the three columns so you go straight to 20s then you follow through it and you can easily locate um, your name whether you are on the list or not thank you for watching and subscribe bye bye